I thought the service was magnificent. I mean, truly wonderful. The music to start with was just inspiring. Both the yeah. the real kind of hammer blow classics. The the principal one, I suppose, has to be Handel, say, Dr. Priest at the time of the anointing, because it quotes a passage of the Bible, which is exactly consonant with this idea of anointing. And it just has this power that only Handel could muster. It's similar to his Hallelujah Chorus, you know, it just has this phenomenal uh, uh, sort of depth and force to it. And uh, yeah, it was very, very moving. And the king looked vulnerable which all monarchs do when they're being bound. They're being encumbered with all these symbols and all this heavy cloak and this uh, uh, scepter and orb and heavy crown, which means they can barely move. And, and in a strange way, I'm sure not deliberately originally, but it's kind of symbolic of the encumbrances in life that you have if you're a monarch. So it, it's a very touching ceremony. It's, he's quite lonely somehow, as, as the Queen was if you watch the 1953 coronation. But I feel very lucky to have been there.